What is up, my friends? It's Hokic time and time for another episode of me playing Disco Elysium and narrating things uselessly and pointlessly. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> So today, we are finally going to uh, confront the super cranium gentleman who's at the top of this wall. Unless we can get in here. Looks like we're going to have to confront the perfect cranium gentleman here. Measure head. Your race descent has only worsened since I last saw you. You have really let yourself go. Okay, so now that we've talked to a whole bunch of people, the subscribing to his advanced race theory um, fakery has a higher chance of success. And of course, trying to fight his perfect cranium will result in a failure. So we're going to try and uh, jinx him first. Oh, go ahead. Don't be shy. Just ask for race secrets. I want to learn this race theory of yours so that we could become friends. <laughs> Try to smile pathetically. I need some of that race stuff in my brain. Sock it to me. No, I'll better not say anything on this topic. All right, so let's... uh. Let's try and fake it till we make it, right? Do not be naive. I know the answer to the great race enigma. Why would I share it with a deformed infant? Do you not have the devotion for servitude? No, not really. But this thing is locked now. What about our skill menu? Can I can I skill up conceptualization here somewhere? Ooh. Ooh, I can. Intellect base plus one. Bam! I probably just wasted, like, something that I could have used elsewhere. Alright. This gives us a bigger boost. Ask what kind of races there are first. Classification is core to this stuff. Measurehead, I am new to this world. Help me understand its races. I need to know what kind of different races there are. Do you? This is for the uh, thing. The lieutenant looks towards the harbor's electronic door and then to you. He lets an audible sigh. You're obviously a liberal, so sealite, the man tells him. A polyculturalist. I can see it from your love of microtechnology and your sartorial choices. Do not deny your friend the truth you have denied yourself. There are three categories of race. Type A, the heroic races. Type B, the servile races. And the vile C-F race cauldron of pederasty. Which one do you need education on? Type A. Those are the Simonese, the Areopagite, and the Occidentals, excluding the Maun, of course. The Maun are riddled with eczema to the point where they find it impossible to smile. 
They are all lactose intolerant, a common result of inbreeding. A receding genetic pool has led the Mon on reprehensible street parades in Mon cities like Stads Canal and Redefort, wearing wooden clogs on their street on their feet and little green tassels on their hats. Oh, so uh Denmark or Netherlands? Wait, who exactly are the Mon? You know them by the names of their nation states. The Orangees, the Gotvaldians, and the Königsteners. It sounds like a beer. Cheers. My people call them the Mon. The Mon are proof that you can have too much Occidental racial purity and tassel centric culture. <laughs> Inbreeding has led to a lactose intolerant subrace whom no one can take seriously. Okay, got it. Who are type A then, in your view? The Vespertines and Messinians of Vesper and Messina, the ancient Meteorans of Meteo by the Golden Pisantic Sea, the Surinese of Sur la Clef, and even the North Königsteiners all have type A race propensities. The other large Mondial civilization, the Mesk, are too yellow and oleaginous to count as a heroic race, true. They are violent and expansionist, but they have glandular they have a glandular problem. <laughs> he draws his finger across his face. Overproduction of sebum. Sebum is leaking into their brains, making them listen to El Mariachi music and eat toxic mincemeat based food Taco Bell probably which in turn only produces more sebum and who are the Simonese and Areopagites in this? as proven by the Maun and the Mesk Occidental type A is in retrograde the Simonese and the Areopagite are in the ascent and the Simonese are the indigenous people of this the Insulindian archipelago. The Simonis inhabit the southern islands. He gestures towards the south, across the ocean. I am Simonis, from the stock of Ulan Buir on Ile de Fantôme. And the Areopagites? The Areopagites are the master race of the Ilmar Ilmaran deserts. The Simonis are descendants of the Areopagites. We came here during a heroic migration from Il Mara to Insulinde. Thousands of years before the lactose intolerant mound ridden Occidentals discovered this place. What's the difference between the Simonese and the Areopagites? The Areopagites are sleek, long headed. The Simonese are powerful, mesomorphic. The former is an immutable progenitor unchanged since the super isola of Pericarnassus. Ancient brains rest in their slender skulls. He falls silently, contemplating the beauty and the mystery. He continues, The latter is perfected and adapting. Together they form the semeno Areopagite or the Semiopagite super race. That is all. There are no more type A races in the world. Okay, what's type B? Type B are the unheroic races, amorphous non-competitors of the great race. The Kodjkos and the Vacoliers, they are mud-colored people. Mud-colored? To an untrained eye, the Kodjko appear white and pinkish, like a, ham, like a ham sandwich. But look into their eyes and you will see he squints, full of sage wisdom. They are of an indistinct, muddy color, and so is their skin, unhealthy, sweaty, and ashen. I don't know what he's trying to say here, but it sounds like he's saying type B races are like white people and full of shit. Pinkness is a racial quality that has to be earned through centuries of advanced ballistic warfare 
and cultural domination that the Grad people have undergone for drinking al ghul and smoking the degenerate tabak herb and for eating potato. Kochko, the countless micronationalities, micronationalities of Grad are all inexplicably obsessed with potat. The only thing they like more is dividing into microscopic ethnostates, like political amoeba. And the vacoliers you mentioned? The revacholians, halfway between type A and the racial cauldron. Too mixed to know right from wrong, you tried your degenerate little revolution, which was the single greatest failure committed by humans in our 82,000 year history on this planet. What about the vile C through F race cauldron of pederasty, please? This type C through F are a museum of failed chimeric experiments and tragic maladaptations. They are tortured creatures waiting to be put to sleep. Your morbid interest in them worries me. Chimeric experiments? Lesser races like Mesquito, a grotesque mixture of Mesk woman and the Seminese man. Only possible if the mother is Mesk and the father is Seminese. The other way around, they fail to produce offspring. The Mesquito is born sterile, like a donkey. He looks west, ruefully. All they have left is to ride customized motor carriages with hydraulic suspension listening to aggressive El Mariachi music to vent their impotent despair. Any more? Then there is, he pauses dramatically, the Simino Kojic Chimera. Are you sure you wish to know of the Simino Kojic Chimera? It is not an aesthetic sight. Either yes or better not to, the Simino Kojic Kochke Chimera seems like more than I could handle right Sure, why not? The Kochko, as you know, are very servile, especially when they meet the rich man. Racial scientists have toyed with the idea of crossing the Simonese with a Kochko to produce a super worker of Simonese strength and grad civility. This will never happen. The Simonese and the Kochko may have similar interbreeding problems, as the mosquito. We will never know precisely. No Simonese man could maintain an erection in the suffocating potato stench of a Kochko woman or Kochka. But enough. It is cruel to entertain ourselves with the deformities of type C through F. Were there any able-bodied races you needed education on? Now that we've been through all the types, do I understand advanced race theory? You understand nothing. To solve the great race enigma, you have to first ask yourself, what is the great is the race enigma? You have not even worded the mystery, let alone solved it. Will you let me into the harbor if I do? We will see. Access to the Union is important for our investigation, but there may be another way in, without becoming a race theoretician. Am I mildly worried he might take it seriously, the lieutenant thinks. Yes, I am, he concludes. I am worried. YOLO? How do I word the mystery? So now, <laughs> you need to internalize what you have heard here today, then return to me. This is, clarity does not come instantly. Let's discuss something else. Let's check this out first. We are Hobocop. Advanced race theory has minus one drama, and you're fooled by absurdity. Oh lord. This is some some messed up shit right here. But we're not gonna do that just yet. I wanna see what the options are. Let's discuss something else. I cannot possibly imagine what else we have to discuss, Type 2 Revacholian. Your love for disco music and venereal disease. Mm. 
Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Save game. <laughs> save game. And now... The unpromising raised pupil returns. Let's knock him out. Oh shit! <laughs> we did it! We didn't have to subscribe to Race Theory, but subscribe to my channel, please. Just like that, Instinct took over a solid strike straight to the into his throat, into the cartilage. You, you, you could swear you felt the soft plate break. The man is reeling, gasping for air. Time stands still around you. In the distance, the, in the distance, the sounds of the harbor are falling silent. All you hear is a small gurgling sound as a trickle of blood appears on the man's lip. He's open. Rip right into him. Look. Right hook. Escalate it. Get intimate with him. Bring the hurt closer. Wait, what should I do? Rip into him with a right hook? Back up and perform a 360 flying spin kick. Arguably this is the better one. <laughs> but I don't know if we, we're going to have time for that. So let's rip into him. God damn it. Oh god, wrong move. Your head is in his hands, like a pair of forceps crushing you, and you can feel every jewel. Say it. I am a degenerate drunk. How did this happen? Was I winning? I am a degenerate drunk. Never. Salt of a police officer help no this will this will just get me beaten up even more. Let's try and wiggle ourselves loose. Even under the increased force on your skull there is no pain. Just the sound of your own blood gushing in there, feeding your mind with oxygen. You are a poor player of physical chess. He lets go of your head, you slump to the ground. Let's try this again. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Fuck you. Your fist cracks in his hand like a ripe apple. Pain shoots up into your brain as he's twisting it more and more. The words to the song have changed. Say, I am a violent drunk. No, I won't fucking say anything. Your hand twists his grip in his grip and pain blinds you. Still, you press the words out of your swollen mouth. Good. Now leave before you humiliate your homoerotic organization any further. Damn it. I want to try this again. I, 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 I just want to try this again. It is important that we smack this asshole. The unpromising place pupil returns. No. Say anything, buddy. Wow. Okay. So if you fail the first, the first one you fail. It locks you out, but you get another chance if, uh, if the first hit succeeds. 
But you know what? Again! Last try, I promise. See, I'm promising. Knock him out. Oh, come on. Do I want to? <laughs> All right, let, let's humor him this time. I guess we're uh, we're gonna have to turn to racism a little bit. Or or wait a minute, just wait a minute. We don't have to do that. The gentleman downstairs. Oh, there's a talk icon. I'd appreciate it if you didn't force us into situations where I may have to shoot random civilians, because that won't get us anywhere. I'm not even sure the one bullet my chamber holds would even prick that Hulk. I was fighting bad on Xavier ide ideologies. I'm a hero. We're not here on some political quest. We're here to solve a crime. Don't make this situation any more volatile than it already is. I can't promise that, can I? Can't promise that. The lieutenant groans but doesn't say anything. All right, my friend. Nice aggression with the native. Don't let the chief fool you next time. You don't need to be up in his face. Leave yourself space to move. Not bad advice, actually. This might do the trick. Let's talk about our right to work. I need you to be my champion against Jean-Luc up there. No. I'm not a fighter, I'm a worker. Bro! You look, you look, you look like you can take him on easy. But that's fine. I'm gonna go back. Walk, 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 walk. Let's fight Mr. Perfect Cranium. See, I'm promising raise pupil. Let's knock him out. Damn it. Jeez. Another fit of criminal rage. Pressure on your on Yoru already taken broken hand hand. Who are you in your own words? Looks like I found a typo here. Degenerate alcoholic. I mean, technically true, right? Morale critical. Ooh, yo, 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 yo. That's not good. So, in order to combat poor morale, we're going to become a racist. <laughs> a racist and a feminist at the same time. Despair creeps into you, getting fat on your weakness. Whatever noble intentions you once had at a police officer, it's eating them all up now. You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation, right? I'm seriously running out of shits to give. Let corpses hang on trees. I'm quitting. Fuck you. I've wasted my life protecting humans. They don't deserve it. I'm done. No one even likes cops. I wish I was fucking dead. Fuck you. Fuck you. Um. Whew. 
Ooh, this is a tough choice. Because I'm pretty sure that I can somehow game over with this. <laughs> Let's try... Um... Let's, let's, let's try quitting. Fuck me, please. The rage you have for after we fi- You have for after we finish the investigation. Nothing you can say would make you feel any better now. Did I just, uh, lose the game? <laughs> oh, crap. Wow. Cop gives- gives up the detective genre for social realism another police officer resigned from the rcm following a nervous breakdown he now lives under a bridge drinking occasionally throwing excrement at passers-by shouting i never loved that woman damn oh well let's uh reload our last save game and try and punch him out again The unpromising race pupil returns. No! Fuck you, continue. Won't fucking say anything. leave and we're also going to temporarily hopefully become a racist the unpromising race pupil return Let's go over that race theory again. Wait. How do I... How do I subscribe to his uh, racism? I'd appreciate it if you didn't force us into situations where we We've had been to here again civilians. before. Because that won't get us anywhere. I was fighting bad ideologies. Can't promise. Oh, maybe I can't, uh, maybe I can't subscribe to being, to his race theory unless I knock him out. Nice aggression with the I mean, native. unless I don't try don't to knock Let's him talk out. about our right to work. Be my champion. Okay, that, that's not gonna work. Um, I think, I think we have to load this save file right here. The unpromising race pupil returns. And now, what we're gonna do is this looks like it's the first encounter because we don't have the uh, suggestion. Better not go into it. Type B, mud color. Da da da. Come on, let's discuss something else. Okay, let's read the actual uh, race enigma quest line. Put the advanced race theory idea into a free internalizing slot in your head. Then pass some time, and when it's internalized, return to measure head. This is how thinking is done. Oh, oh, oh crap. So these things are permanent. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay. Um. All right, let's uh, 
let's go to our friend. Let's go to our friend right here. And let's talk. Right to him. work. Right to work. Do you Shame have any on tips? you. Let's go kick his ass again, or get our asses kicked. Watch this actually work this time. The unpromising Knock him out. Place pupil return. Yes, not. All right, let's preserve our health, and we're gonna go talk to our buddy. I don't care what you have to say, Mr. Kim, because you don't want to help me much. Actually, maybe he does want to help me a little bit. I'd appreciate it if you didn't force us into situations where I may have to shoot random civilians, because that won't get us anywhere. Nope. Not the most useful. Nice aggression with the native. Don't let the chief. Let's talk about our right to work. Okay, one more attempt. I guess getting past the man ain't that simple after all. So, what now? Got nothing to say to you, buddy. Our goal here is to get past this man. The unpromising raised pupil return. Yeah, that's right. Punch him in the gut. The man is reeling, coughing up blood. Let's perform a 360 flying spin kick. <laughs> Bam! Should have done that like half an hour ago. The man lands with a dull thump, like a broken down puppet of muscles and sinew. For a moment he still tries to keep head up, dazed, eye, dazed eyes looking at you with unimaginable surprise. To your left is the button. Disco Inferno. Welcome to Revachol. I'm so sorry I didn't want to do this. Okay, so just a moment here. Just wait a moment. Did I... Oh, awesome. I did not internalize the racism thing. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Disco Inferno. As you slam your fist on the button, the man collapses entirely, his head rolling on the, to the side. Looks like you're the new measurehead now. <laughs> no one is the new measurehead. Let's go. Before he gets up, the lieutenant makes haste forward to the door. As you turn, a bright light catches your eye, making you squint. Where's it coming from? From a distant sunset, a stage light, flash photography, no one in particular. It's just what superstar law officers do. They squint at lights, and they solve shit. Actually, now that I hear superstar and law official in the, sen in the sentence, they sound weird together. Yeah, that's me. I've been establishing my superstardom hard lately. Hell yeah. Yeah, you have. You're a big dick cop. Dick Mullen. Salam Rocky Bye. Badass. On the edge disco cop. 
Time to recede into a ludicrous fantasy world. Here we go. Camera lights. Action. Ah, uh, yes. With a sudden flash, the world freezes around you. And you along with it. In an ironic monochrome solution, a black silhouette against a rasterized orange world. It's on. What's in this box? Is Kim going to stop me opening the box? Is he going to say something to me? Or why can't I? Okay. Cool. All right. Yes. What do I need to level up to convince Kim there's a sexy, dark mystery twist? Inland Empire. Let's check the skill book. Inland Empire. Inland Empire. Ah, okay. I think we need to uh, level this up at some point. What happens if I click on this gentleman one more time? The man is still knocked out. He breathes slowly and steadily. It'll take a few moments for him to recover. There's something you need to see, sir. We have found the remnants of an ancient artifact lodged in your hypothalamus. It is a cylindrical object, piss weathered and smelling of liquor. The paint is peeling off, but you can clearly make out the letters Revolutionary Feminist Agenda on the hull. It appears that some time ago, before you became a joke, you were an actual feminist. Somehow you've come to that conclusion. Perhaps you can w work your way back. If I accept, I get plus one empathy could evolve into RFA um, whatever RFA means minus one electrochemistry would have to quit drugs to get there all right all right plus one empathy sounds really good probably advantageous to me So what does this do? Forget requirement, solution, problems. So I wonder if I keep my bon no, I don't keep my bonus uh, authority against men. That's unfortunate. Anyway, some kind of superstar. First, let's make this absolutely clear. No one is saying you're an actual superstar in the groupies and cocaine riddled with hepatitis C strikes a lionesque pose with a mic kind of way. You're not a Guillaume de Milan or Davy Dewis. No, you're a metaphorical superstar. You bring that rock and roll authenticity and passion to a line of work where people don't expect or want to see it. Where some would say it, it doesn't belong. Law enforcement. I don't care. Some kind of superstar. Let's go. Hell yeah. So did that give me the, the, the button thing? Let's run downstairs just to make sure. Hopefully it opened the gate. Went native on the chief, huh? Those ballerina antics were reckless. Should have just punched him in the throat again. <laughs> Wrong. You did the right thing with Measurehead. The ballerina antics won you the fight. Let's talk about our right to work. I'm just gonna leave now. Let's talk to this gentleman one more time. Knocked him out good, like the flying desperado. 
who or what is the flying desperado? It's that really cool flying desperado spin kick you did. Boyadero. Often performed by the most hard bodied boyaderos on the steps. It was nothing. He nods energetically. Good talking to you, buddy. Okay, so. Um, end of day debrief. Nope. Track down your guns. Station. Da -da 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 -da. I want to know how to hit that button. Also, smash that like button. Ooh, the door opened. Awesome. Let's check it out. Let's touch everything. A giant ass print on the pillow and a pattern of coffee rings on the armrest. This is a Dewey typewriter. The model name is on the back. Sure. Every worker equals member of the board is written at the top of the flyers. So this must be the union office that we heard so much about. A standard office file cabinet. The drawers seem to be locked. Someone left the coffee machine on. Payphone. An imposing combination of punch clock and a payphone is looking down at you from the wall. A note on the side says, tokens unavailable due to strike. Use change. Do I want to use this? I don't really want to call anybody right now. Let's walk upstairs. All right, so here we are upstairs. What's this thing? Giant water thing, collecting rainwater. All right. At least three packs worth of cigarette butts and numerous bottles of Commodore Red and potent Pilsner. There's this area up front over here. All around you, great machines and quiescence. White pine trees are printed onto the screen covering. Looks like a forest under snow. Where can I go from here? <coughs> I feel kind of bad that we can't just open the harbor door. But we have places to go and people to talk to, right? So walk, 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 walk. The shipyard ahead is oddly quiet. Great machines are sleeping. Of course. That looks like a radio tower. And over here. Industrial sized thermos. Smells like burnt coffee. Coffee is really important, by the way. And here's a person to talk to. Or not. Container, container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, container, put the logos on. Container, container, used to be well pines. Container, container, now belongs to Everett. The tiny man is so engaged in his work, he doesn't notice you. Hi! Everett, 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 he looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. How can I help you, mister? I see you're not a union man, mister. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? A shadow passes over his kind face. What is it with you people and scabs? I mean, I don't personally mind. Folks are just folks, you know. And folks gotta eat. He doesn't seem to be waiting for you to answer. Just some of the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. What are you doing with the containers? 
Oh, I'm just making some covers for them containers here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So it's easier for the crane operators to spot them. He waves at the containers towering behind him. Hmm, there's a logic check here. Um, sure, why not? Ah. Red is so much prettier than the drab old greens. green. Everything is so pretty in red. You and Leo look like brothers as you glance around with similar childlike wonder. Sure is, Mr. Sure is. Leo looks around merrily. Really livens up the place. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I hate to break this bonding moment, but the red containers mean they're replacing the company livery with the union livery, which means this strike isn't going to stop anytime soon. Where is everyone? The harbor is empty. Oh, most of the guys are down at the gates, keeping the scabs from coming in. He leans in with a confidential look. We're on a strike. The whole union is. You don't have to work when you're on strike. Ha! We haven't worked for two months now. So no one is working? Not everyone is down there, of course. Mr. Er Evard is in his office, where he always is, and Jean-Luc is guarding the gate. He pauses to think. But Titus and his boys got into some drunken trouble, and Evrard sent them on a nice vacation for a week or so. He stops, but seems eager to tell you more. What kind of trouble did this Titus and his friends get into? Oh, I'm not really supposed to talk about that. That's union business. He smiles and leans closer. Him and his boys stirred up something in town. Probably drank too much and got into a fight or something. I heard Mr. Evrard telling them to take some time off. Really? Did they kill someone? No, I don't think they killed anyone. The little guy shies away from you. That let's better talk about something else. Titus and his boys do good work. I don't want I don't want to get them in trouble over a little drinking. Do you work here? Yes, yes. Everybody needs a job and this is mine. I'm Leonard, by the way, Leonard Bellick, but everyone calls me Leo. The little man raises his hand in a welcoming gesture. I'm like Mr. Everard's right-hand man when Mr. Edgar is out of town, and Mr. Edgar's right-hand man when Mr. Everard is away. He chuckles. Actually, Miss Beaufort is the right-hand man, but she's a lady. Who is this Miss Beaufort? The lieutenant looks up at Leo. A real pretty lady with a skin like those dough and sucre candy bars my missus likes so much. Them are real nice to suckle on once the dinner is done and me and the missus sit down besides the radio. But I can't listen to the radio all the time. There's so much to do around here and I'm always busy keeping things running here. Yes I am. Yes I am. Who's this Miss Beaufort you mentioned? Oh, Lizzie, she's a real t sharp tool. Mr. Everard put her through some fancy school and everything, east of the river. Four years she was gone, and when she came back, she was all fancy and lawyerly. But she's a real nice girl, grew up in this here neighborhood, knows er everybody gets along with everyone, real pillar of the community one day, I'm sure. If me missus and me was to have a child, I'd be happy if she turned out like her but she can't have kids. Dr. Lamato said so and she knows about such things. Being a doctor for almost 50 years she has. He sighs and falls silent, watching you meekly with his blue blue eyes. I think you're doing a great job around here, Leo. Yes, this place really seems to run like a clockwork. Keep it up, Leo. The lieutenant smiles at the little man. So basically we're both fucking with Leo here. Well, thanks a lot. Coming from you, it means a lot, really. You didn't think it was possible, but the smile becomes even wider. What's in that container over there? Point to the container suspended from the crane arm. Oh, that one. He looks at the container. 
That should be empty as far as I know. Lots of containers here have <coughs> nothing in them. They're just waiting to be loaded up. I'm looking for the lead leader of the dock workers union. Oh, you want Mr. Everard then? He's an awfully nice fellow he is. Him and his brother are both nice fellows. Lived here their entire lives in this here neighborhood. He coughs, then continues immediately. Guys like Mr. Everard and Mr. Edgar, his brother, are real good guys. Mate Martinez what it is today. Mr. Everard and Mr. Edgar and I went to the same school we did when we were boys. Easy now, Leo. I just want to know where I can find this man. Oh, Mr. Everard is where he always is. In his office, of course. He points to the two joint containers to your right. Okay, I'm off. Bye-bye now. That's all we have time for tonight. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy this video, smash the like button anyway and leave a comment down below. Episode 5 is coming very soon, and until next time, bye!